I had just finished playing GTA 5 online with a close mate of mine. We had been playing for about 3 hours straight, and it was already past 2 a.m. when I went to the fridge to get some milk before going off to bed. I poured a glass, drank it, turned off the living room lights and the kitchen lights too. I walked upstairs to my room. I turned on the TV to fall asleep, just as I do every night. It was one of the 100 late night shows, you know, Jimmy Fallon, Conan O'Brien, those kind of guys. But no clue who this guy was. Whatever, he was entertaining, I guess. Plus, I don't even listen to the TV while falling asleep. I just like the background noise. I fell asleep within 10 minutes. I woke up to a soft, sweet-sounding voice coming down from the living room. It was soft, but she of course was yelling a bit, otherwise I wouldn't be able to hear her from up here. And with the TV on, I looked over to my clock. 2.43 a.m. Under my breath, I said, for fuck's sakes, seeing as how I had school the next morning. I went to bed three hours after lights out. I hear it again. Sweetheart, can you come downstairs, please? I need to talk to you for a moment. This voice was obviously my mother's. I mumbled another for fuck's sakes while sitting up on my bed. I muted the TV, stood up and walked to the stairs. I hear yet again her calling me. I need to have a quick word with you, sweetheart. I call out, turn the lights on, I'm gonna break my fucking neck. She then calls out, the light is on, just come down. I'm not fucking blind, I can see that for the fact that there's no lights on. I can only see an extremely small area from the glow of the TV screen in my bedroom. I hear my mother talking, but this time, her voice isn't downstairs, it's in her bedroom, no more than 10 feet away from where I stand. I hear an extremely soft whisper, I look over to her bedroom, of course, I can't see anything because the light from the TV is only lighting a small part of downstairs, and she says to me, don't go, I heard it too. Immediately, fear and panic shoots up my spine like a bullet, where do I look, who is this person in my home, what should I do? I look downstairs and I see nothing but a little area where my TV is lighting for me. I'm staring at it, maybe for a good 10 seconds, and then I realize I'm staring at someone. No, something. Its face is long and extremely sharp. It's smiling at me, the most terrifying, bone-chilling smile I have ever seen. I just stare. I don't know what to do. If I stand still, will it just walk out the front door and never return again? If I run from my room, will it run after me? I just stand there, I imagine what my mother must be thinking, staring at her fear-stricken son, paralyzed with fear, staring into this monster that has intruded into their home. It's been at least three minutes since I I first saw that face, the whole long, agonizing three minutes I've been thinking about my life, my mistakes I've made, the people I've hurt, I regret them more than ever before. I think about how my last words will be, I'm gonna break my fucking neck. My whole life flashes before me, it's been at least 5 minutes now, it's still staring at me. Its head is going up and down due to its breathing since that second I heard my real mother speak to me. I have been denying death, denying that this is my time. I have now accepted that this is my time. Its grin grows wider, more sinister than before. I see the face running towards me, seeing more the horrifying details. It pounces on me, ripping me open. I scream, imagining once again what my mother must be thinking. I wake up, heart pounding sweat everywhere. I feel like crying and laughing at the same time, thanking God that that was just a dream. Then my heart drops. I hear the one thing I feared hearing the most. Sweetheart, can you come downstairs, please? I need to talk to you for a moment. I hope you enjoyed the story. It's a story posted on reddit.com. Uh, it's written by the new Kurt Cobain. Uh, of course, I'll post links in the description box below. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I hope to make plenty more. Bye!